Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. In the part one of this podcast, we got to know about Wei Han and the blog Rachun created by both Wei Han and his friend Quan. In this episode, we're going to dive deep into the future development of Wei Han. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, but Wei Han, because like, from all these you know, philosophical ideas that you've shared, you've talked about, hmm, like, oh. you do you have any thoughts on... F- because like you read a lot, you really from from what we know, you know, you yeah. re- read a lot. Of course, there's uh, there's a lot more resources to to read, but definitely compared to an average human being, you have learned a lot, uh, quite in depth about philosophy. So, have you have any thoughts, you know, in furthering in this direction and going going building this into a career or something? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, for philosophy, I you know the common the common stigma would be that you can't earn a living through philosophy like like mm-hmm. it doesn't really contribute to the society as a whole uh, as like stem subjects where you actually you're actually creating uh, new inventions so basically you are just to 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 some some people you know you just uh you're just overthinking about things like over centuries ideas that, that you keep <laughs> on turning and turning turning but we have to we have to I mean, even Stephen Hawking, I think I remembered I read about something in his book. He says like philosophy is uh, it's like irrelevant or something, right? So I, I think people miss out the point about philosophy because the, the philosophy philosophy used to be the pre- predecessor to what we have right now, like sciences. It's it's something that sets the foundation for rational thinking, for actually making uh, thinking things things in a system. So, going back at it, I think if you if you are a student of philosophy, uh, no matter your self taught or your academically trained, I think philosophy contributes a way of thinking, uh, uh, in your mind, so you can like really think deep into topics with your analytical skills. So you might not really get a career like a proper career as a philosopher. Maybe, but it's useful uh, in, in some, some ways that if you want to be a writer or you want to uh, like uh, some, some an, uh, analyst. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, so I, I, I don't really think that philosophy is a useless view that you can't go mm-hmm. further as a mm-hmm. career. But uh, practically, in modern terms, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do. You really need, you need, need the commitment. So most people would just self-study, just dwell on topics that that you are really interested in yeah Mm -hmm. okay okay that is cool that's cool i mean like Mm -hmm. looking at what you have what you're doing uh, it's it's good it's 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 good that you're you have you have produced like not only you have you have absorbed content you have actually produced produce your own as well which is which is really great yeah wow philosophy this 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 is this uh this is why also why uh, i'm doing this kind of like uh, producing out content that relates to existentialism because I'm not really uh, academically trained I, I self-taught I, I read a few mm-hmm. books and pretend I'm, I'm an expert <laughs> so yeah so, so I, I don't really see myself going into it academically like studying in a proper mm-hmm. school so if I, self, I self-learn it I just share what I learn to, to the channels that I have yeah yeah, I mean that 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 is good enough. I mean, yeah. even even me myself, because like uh, I I do YouTube and all this, and then many things, you know, uh, like like even one of them is like I I say that you know, do you actually need a master degree, which can be which can be quite quite controversial in 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 some some point of view, you know, like like who are you? You never even get a master degree degree. Like how 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 can you talk about this? But uh, sometimes I like to think 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 in a way whereby uh, actually like like. It doesn't man, many things. It doesn't have to be like academically qualified, mm-hmm. something like that. And mm-hmm. we are we are not like, and and the one important thing is that we are not putting ourselves as a guru. We are not saying that you know I know mm-hmm. everything, and then you should just listen to me. We are purely just sharing like like what you said just now. And right. mainly the the one the one rule which I which I which I live on is uh, live by is actually that 
as long as we are providing we are, we are providing value to at least one single person, then there is a value on sharing sharing this thing. So definitely yeah. we should, you know, we should just share it because we are actually helping at least one person in the world but on doing this. I also think that that the, the sharing of values is so essential in, in human development. Like like what makes human uh, different than other primates, our our cousins, you know, our long long <laughs> It's because the ability to store information and pass it down to our next generation. So true, mm. uh, we might not be physically as strong as our cousins, but through, through the retainment, uh, the, uh, how to say, the passing on of knowledge of what we accumulated through generations, we are able to, uh, to be different from other living things. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, I totally agree with that. And, and one of the reasons why I, you know, why I do all this, like, I have kind of like, I have two main reasons on, oh, okay, three kind of three main reasons on all this content creation stuff, which I try to do consistently. So um, first thing first is that, you know, um, I just want to share, you know, why not I have this thing? It's it's like some somehow some kind of knowledge that, that there is some value. So I can just, you know, share with someone else. Second, that's second. Second one is a bit more uh, capitalistic, you know. <laughs> if it turns out that one day I can earn money from it, who doesn't want it, you know? Like, just just let's why, do why it. Not? See if it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but the, third, the third thing goes down to the same reason for you as well. Like, we are humans and we are always passing uh, knowledge down to the next generation. So I, I always... I always wanted my next generation to be better than who I am. I want to open open up their mind. Like I because I, I I learned this idea from a podcast. So they say that when we are when we see that people uh, like like people like Elon Musk, Elon Musk, they are they are doing like crazy stuff for us. It think it feels like they are they are like doing things which are thinking out of the box. But in fact for them it's probably not thinking out of the box. And and in, for everyone, it's actually very hard to think about a box because thinking out of the box is like literally trying things which are never in your head. Like literally, suddenly, poop, like uh, a spark just came in your head and you'll do it. For them, it's mainly just they because through their youth, maybe because of their their experiences, the the environment they live in, or their how they how the way that they are brought up, they they have so many experiences. So I call this widening of the box. Their, their box is so mm-hmm. wide that within their own mm-hmm. box, they already can see so many new things, so many different things. That So when they, whenever they want to do something, they can just combine a few things and then that thing is, will be something so new that people will think that, you know, it's thinking out of the box. Of the box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for me, I just wonder, you know, if I can, I would just want to just yeah, do... Yeah, sometimes I think... I think um, Actually, it's very hard to think out of the box because uh, you, we can only use something that we know. It's very hard for us to do something or use something that we don't even know that is out of mm-hmm. what, we, what we, are, we are aware of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. But yeah, like, so basically, I want to... The, 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 uh, I just want to do all this kind of stuff, you know, so... Yeah, my next generation, like when my when my kids or when my grandchild grows up, they'll be seeing me. I hope that by 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 that time, I'm still doing this podcast. So, like, just within their 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 own head, they'll be thinking that, yeah, this is something that is normal. Like starting a podcast, starting creating videos, sharing videos, you know, talking to people, uh, making conversations. Oh. It's a very absolute normal thing in their life that you know I can just do it anytime when I want. And I just hope that you know, with this basis in mind, they will they will just do this whenever they want and then they can do things which are beyond this whenever they want something like that so right. yeah basically like, yeah like I hope that my next generation can part, get this knowledge and then make it better yeah <laughs> Good yeah what about you man. what about you Wei Han uh, like, uh, like through uh, this philosophical thoughts have you you know, have you have some some like of course it's it's one thing it's important you know to 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 share share knowledge through this you know pass on to the next generation have you ever thought like you know for the for your own next generation <laughs> for me i i guess i guess philosophy is is it's not something that you can pass on like maybe <laughs> certain frameworks certain ideas but it really just boils down to how one experiences life like what kind of situation that they're in so maybe my kids uh, may, might have it better than me. Maybe they have it worse. Uh, we're not mm-hmm. sure. But I guess at some point, if they really do uh, went into a situation that they, they really need 
they are really curious or they need guidance on on philosophy they 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 know they have a person they can talk to to Mm-mm. yeah but it's not really about passing down knowledge because every generation has has uh has different experiences you just mm-hmm. we are just on a loop forever and never and never as a human un- mm-hmm. until we extinct yeah mm-hmm. okay okay Okay, okay, I get that. Which 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 yeah. is, which brings down to a very interesting thing. Okay, uh, let's uh let's say that everyone has has a, a religion, right? And mm. and maybe it might be from your family, it might be passed down, or or, or like it's it's not, or it might be you choose it later in your life. But for my father, he doesn't has a religion, like yeah. uh, he doesn't really believe in God, believe in heaven or hell. He believed that, that when you, you pass pass away and, and that that's it. So he told me a concept that's so that's stuck in my mind. He said that uh it might happen to be that those voices, that advices in your head is passed down from your father before, like the voices that guides you. So so it's always about father and son, father and son, you know, going on and on in generation. So he he, he believes in that, but he doesn't believe okay, in okay. like uh yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That is cool. That's something that 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 is something worth exploring. I mean, uh, like even though even though ma- many ideas like this, like like even even including religions, but I guess there is there's no importance in that that uh I mean like um there's not it's not necessary to prove prove any religion because many people are trying to do that so yeah, like yeah. we will it's better to to focus on different things but like ideas like 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 your father's i think even though even though it might sound man, uh, quite stupid for many people uh it's something it's something like this that is worth exploring proving because yeah. these are i don't know genuine thoughts new things mm-hmm. interesting stuff that are worth exploring and checking out whether it is actually if it's actually true because i guess in this society we focus too much on things being right that we we penalize things that are are wrong so like like like, like things like even even though yes 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 it's binary it's like either 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 right right or wrong but sometimes this these things um we just don't know like like of course, it it may sound stupid, but we we don't know for sure. Like, and and definitely that is that's what worth exploring and then seeing whether this actually true. This this actually reminds me of of a book by this Danish philosopher, the father of oh, existentialism, okay. uh, Soren Kierkegaard. Okay, so Soren Kierkegaard uh wrote a book called Fear and Trembling. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, the con- I should give a little bit of background because I wasn't really a, a religious person because at some point I'm, I'm like an atheist I reject all God and I think people who believe in God is just stupid and dumb until I read <laughs> this book it really provides me an insight so so what this book is uh, talking about the, he wrote he wrote about Abraham uh, the father of Christian- Christianity Abraham going up this uh, Mount Moriah to sacrifice his son Isaac, and it's commanded by God. So God just say, "Uh, you uh sacrifice Isaac, and and you shall get and and to prove your faith." So to some to us, uh, the ethical sphere he he divides things into religious sphere and ethical sphere. So in an ethical sphere, from from our society point of view, we'll look at Abraham like a madman. Why would you kill your own son? It's not an ethical thing to do. But to Abraham, to him, it's uh it's belief. So the opposite of of uh belief is doubt. So he we know that as a person, if you're standing in Abraham's shoe, you would have a lot of uh, doubt about God. Whether does he really exist? Do I really want to sacrifice my son? But for for Abraham, he's such a religious person, such a faithful person to God that he's willing to 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 uh, uh do what God commands. And and then uh in the end he gets back his son because they sacrifice a ram. So he gets everything in return. So through 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 reading of 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 this book, I realized that people who are I believe in God. It doesn't really means that they're stupid. It's just the the faith of believing uh in believing in a higher being gives them a reason and meaning. So 
they might find a, 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 a like say a resort like when you if you have bad things you still can have a certain level of comfort yeah so so you really you really found out that you sh- uh sometimes religion is not just about about going to church about practicing a belief it's a very personal thing like people wants to relate with something just bigger than life that brings them gives them meaning out of this absurd world yeah i totally agree with that i totally agree with that yeah yeah, yeah. very beautiful very beautiful yeah but yes um that's 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 a very interesting sharing and and throughout we learn a lot a lot about your rachun rachun blog and is there any anything else that you would like to share to us or the audience about like rachun or even yourself hey, so rachun isn't uh it's still in its baby stage we haven't really quite decided yet like me and kwan we haven't really decided on what to do with it because it's something we created and we should expand it. So uh, in the meantime, we were doing a little bit of street art. So it's not just about uh, articles about philosophy or existentialism. We tried to explore on subcultures as well, underground culture mm-hmm. and like like uh, street painting, street art or something. Oh. So we're mm-hmm. trying to we're trying to bring it everything together in as in a circle like uh, underground underground culture which is something we're still exploring. That's why we, uh, the first thing we do that we try to experiment with is uh, doing street poem, street poem kind of stuff. So we actually... What's that? Oh, street poem. Yeah, street poems. Oh, so we okay, brought... Okay, uh, okay I, I mean to typewriter. So I brought my typewriter down to uh, Dada and Madeka. Uh, mm-hmm. So we just sat there and we just give out poems to people around. Wow. And then people will just tell them their ideas, and we just write. Yeah, so this is this is one of the planning we're, that we're trying to do uh, down the line slowly. Oh. Yeah. Wow. How was it? How 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 was that? How was that session? How did it went? And how how was the experience? Can you show share more oh. about that? Because it's something it's so unusual that I think, um, yeah, it's it's it's. it's it's kind of like like imagine like like you would ask people because like it's rarely to find uh, someone that that will go busking on the street you know they playing guitar on on the street side that's that's yeah. one thing that we already have not much idea about but you this is totally another new thing which definitely it's a lot more interesting so how yeah yeah what's your experience uh, from that and how I, how does I, it work? I would say I would say it's not an original idea I mm-hmm. stumbled it upon uh, this whole street poem thing on like TikTok where mm-hmm. like some some some. Uh, accounts they're just writing like letters with their typewriters like uh, breakup letters love letters or like uh, just generally something that they feel so I find it very interesting and I, I, I think that people would appreciate if we can give them like words mm-hmm. so the session okay we have I have high expectations at first like, I thought it would have good response and because I, I didn't, never really did this kind of thing. But it, it was a tough one because when we went there, there's really no nobody approaching us. Like, people just don't know what the hell are you doing. <laughs> so, we just sat there and we kept sw- swapping places and then and then at the end, we told, we told ourselves, just one guy. Just get one guy and we'll leave the place. Just one. We just need one for the day so it's not wasted. So apparently we waited, like, you know, like like fishing. We just sat, sat on a rock and then like, wait for the fish to come. And then so there's this Malay guy that came by and, and he was so interested and so, cool. like, he was so, not to say, in, uh, like, he never knew that typewriters are still a thing. That, that <laughs> oh, okay. they are still working typewriters. <laughs> And young people will actually use it. So he's so he's so surprised and he asks us to write a, a Malay poem for him about Madeka since we're in Madeka Square. Uh yeah. So that's that's the poem that we did that day, our, our first session. Yeah. So that was it so far. And so we were planning on doing more and uh yeah, just trying to find time to do to do it. Yeah. Definitely. I, I mean like uh I guess uh, it's 
it's actually it's actually a very good idea and I can see it see this being a huge thing, you know, a very huge and normal thing in especially in, in, in the Western culture, just like Malaysia it's a bit conservative, mm. you know. Like like you'll be thinking like, oh, is that guy trying to scam us money or something? <laughs> Instead uh, of, you know, just, yeah, just yeah, generally yeah, go right, and try right, out. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. Over over here, literally, uh, I think it's it's a lot more possible. You know, sit sit on the street, like at a park, something. You just put up a sign. You know, people will generally just 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 come to do it. Definitely, right, and right. if you have the chance, definitely when you go overseas, you know, spend a day. I de- I believe you get a lot better results. Uh, that, 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 that's I truly also support one, this one, <laughs> one of the things that I plan to do in the future. You know, yeah. Okay, I I have I actually have a question for Wei Han. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so um uh from from what I know about you and also from what you just shared, um it seems like um you you are very okay with doing things that um, maybe many people doesn't dare to do because you know we 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 are afraid of being judged by people and all yeah um do you do you have any uh, like yeah <laughs> do do I have any like um, I mean uh. Do you actually care about how people look at you or care yeah. about... Okay, uh for me it's about taking the first step. Of course, uh I know like you guys start a podcast, starting a podcast, starting a blog. It's always about the first step. Like before you do it, there's so much of doubts. You're so afraid that <laughs> what if people listen to my podcast and like holy like this podcast is so boring. You're so afraid of that judgment. Like yeah. so many people are so much more knowledgeable than us, and when they read it, they'll think like this just just kids doing their things. But eventually, uh uh at first I was like, if I don't take the first step in like doing this, I would forever be doubting myself. Like even if it's mm. if, even if it's uh even if it's like something you're afraid, uh you just do it. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. You don't care. Just do it. So, of course, I, I, have, I have a fear of judgment at first. But after I do it, I'm like, I already went all out. People can just judge what they want. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes yeah, actually, it's, it's... I, I it's, totally it's, agree. It's, it's, yeah, go, go ahead, it's go our ahead. own mind that's, that's stopping us. <laughs> uh, like, we're yeah, holding true. back ourselves back. We are the one that that's gaslighting ourselves that you are bad, you're not good. <laughs> yeah. Once you do it, once you do it, you go out on the street, you put your typewriter there, you sit there and like, it wasn't that bad. Nobody is like yeah. looking at me like a weird guy, so yeah, that's how it <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree. Like like one one of the, the the biggest thing for many people trying to start content creation like YouTube, you know, even podcasts, right? like like you say, fear of judgment. You think that you know people will be looking at you saying that you know, Andrew, what are you doing? Stop being, stop being stupid. Stop holding that camera. Yeah. Don't 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 make a fool out of yourself. Yeah, like you yeah. think that many people will think of it this way, but in fact, is that. Um, People that don't care about you just wouldn't care at all. And people who actually yeah. care about you, they are actually the supporters. They will, they, mm-hmm. they, they will, they will, they will, they will watch your videos. They'll support yeah. you. They'll, they'll give con, con, construct, uh, constructive ideas on how to improve it. So it's actually, a, gen, the world is quite a beautiful place, you know. Like, of course, sometimes <laughs> there yeah. might be one or two terrible people commenting on your videos, but that's it. Don't, don't go, let that stop, stop you from doing things. And then it, things isn't that hard, you know, once you do it, it's, there's yeah. a, I'll just say that there's, um, I guess uh, I am I used to be living in in the mindset of trying to avoid problems in self solving problems, but it's more I guess it's more important for us to learn, uh, learn to live in a mind mindset of solving problems. So we just do things, and yeah. then when problem arises, then we we'll only find ways to solve it. Mm-hmm. At least this gives us yeah. a lot more chances, and then gives us a lot more exposure, a lot more experiences, and all that. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that that's how how we grow up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, like in the in the Asia culture, it's, it's not not to blame Asians, but then like in, it's like we are a that's, bit more conservative. We we care about more. We care more about getting right instead the, of getting so, more things there's done. There's so much of there's so much of shaming and and generally our culture is uh, more of a collectivist culture. So whatever yes. you do, whatever you think, it is it's supposed to be with the group, the the crowd. So, yeah. uh, in in maybe like Western culture, they are more individualistic. So everything mm-hmm. is about them, themselves and, and, and how they do things. So so people in Asian culture were just 
so afraid of trying things or so afraid of the shame yeah mm-hmm. which, is, which is holding us back yes exactly exactly and yes I, i'm definitely like like i i love what you're doing on rachun and that street poem thing that was like yeah. boom yes, <laughs> that, blew, that, that blew my Thanks mind that blew my <laughs> i know it's not original but the thing is that it is i would say that it is certainly top 0.01 percent in malaysia <laughs> it's like top 0.01 percent malaysia like it's it's so rare that you are you can be considered one of the first in malaysia well other than this like anything else that you guys are planning to do Anything else? Uh, okay. Uh, so my friend Kwan, okay, he, mm. he he we have uh he has his own own space right now, like oh. like a, a physical space. So there's a lot of free room because he's doing he's actually doing uh specialty coffee. So he's brewing his own uh coffee, cold brew, and he sells sells it. Uh, yeah. So we have we have a our own space and we are pl- planning to utilize it. So maybe somewhere down the line we'll be having like our own, uh, maybe just our own session like talk talk sessions or like exhibition. <gasps> like we're gonna do our own art. Like wow. since we're both so like you can say weird in a way. We like to create mm-hmm. weird things. So we are trying to maybe like show some of our weird ideas and stuff. Yeah, that's 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 the thing that we can foresee for now, lah. For Rachun. That's yeah. that's good. That's good. That's good. But 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 it's just worth mentioning that even though you guys are weird, weird doesn't mean it's bad. It's definitely it's definitely. I mean, like I guess uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't. The the one thing that I don't like uh don't like the world saying is that they we we use we they people tend to think that weird is is like uh uh it's it it's like a bad judgment it's a bad judgment and instead it's actually just a description like weird doesn't mean something is bad right. and most of the time it's actually good it's unusual it's because of all these weird and crazy ideas that people get to progress to today if we don't right. have people doing weird and weird and in, uh, crazy ideas that wouldn't have so much development and all this which which, but, which which reminds me of uh i don't know where i read about it it's like uh modern society we are so stigmatized, uh, like we treat mental health as someone to be cured, like someone they should go to see a doctor. But back back in the days, I don't know how far can we trace it back, but back in the days, uh, mentally challenged people are actually seen as gifted. So uh, mm-hmm. the rich or, or like kings would, would keep this kind of like mentally challenged <laughs> people around them. Mm-hmm. Because they have, they are so special. They have so many like like things that they can they, they can contribute to that we can't think of. Mm. Yeah. yeah, basically, like like it's out of our reach. Uh, Cause like we are we are so normal that what we think is like normal, but then for them, like 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 mentally challenged, they they they, they can just like they will see things in a different perspective. Something like that then definitely like it's something rare that we we should uh, I don't, we should, I don't we should, we should you, care more about. Have you heard of Dionysus? Dionysus, I don't know how to spell his oh, no. name. It's called Dionysus or uh, uh, Diogenes, Diogenes, D I O G E N E S. So this guy Diogenes, he's uh, he somebody would call him a philosopher. So, but but I I think he wouldn't like that. So he was a guy in ancient Greek that lives mm-hmm. in a barrow on the streets oh. naked. So he would just masturbate in public or like s- just say things that are so controversial. For example, I think it was uh, Plato uh, mm-hmm. uh, or Aristotle, I forgot, uh, either of them, they were saying like, they were arguing about man is a featherless biped. So Diogenes actually just carried a, a, a chicken to, to his academy. Is this a man? Is this a man? <laughs> so he would also like carry, carry a torch around the streets. Nice. Like at night, I'm looking for a wise man. Are you a wise man? <laughs> so he's so, so crazy that he actually thinks has so many ideas that we couldn't think of. Like like let's say uh the, uh it was it was told that uh Alexander the Great went and visit him because he heard of this guy. He's so special. So he he went there, sat in front of uh stood in front of his barrel with his guards, and he say like, "I am the king of Macedonia." I can grant you anything that you want. So <laughs> Diogenes just stared at him and said, "Like, please move aside. You're blocking the sun." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I like it so much. I like it so much. I like like how 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 different he is. Yeah. Oh 
Interesting, interesting. But, but, but yeah, like, about... like, like, where in you go first? Okay, but talking about like normal and and yeah, uh, it kind of remind me about like autism, like autistic children. Uh, they people often say that you you see um they are autist autistic they have some sort of problem or what, then they try to um, change them because it's not something that can be cured. They can just adapt to a different lifestyle, but. Mm-hmm. Is it necessary that so that there's actually a debate about is it necessary to make them into someone that is so normal? Like, is that even a normal or a way that people people is people are supposed to live? Mm. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. Like, like, like. Uh, this is like like what I'm about to say is a lot like on a small scale compared to what you guys share. So I recently saw this meme coming up saying that, you know, because usually it's very, I don't know, it's just expected. Uh, it's a norm that, you know, to in order to be successful, you got to be extroverted and all that. So always there's, there's a lot more, there's a lot more article coming out saying that, oh, are you an, are you an introvert? Here's, here's like 10 ways you can, you can, you can learn to speak more. But... <laughs> why is there no me? Uh, why, why is there no articles saying that? Oh, you're an extrovert. Here's ten ways to be quiet. <laughs> 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 like, like, why is it more important to be extrovert? And why can't people just, you know, <laughs> learn to be introverted a bit? You know, listen more a bit instead of speaking, speaking more. Well, <laughs> so like this, society like... is just headed to 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 one normalcy. It's just like one way to be normal, one way to be success. So like autistic autistic people sometimes uh, if you if you think about it uh, like uh, we we don't really know how how they perceive the world like yeah, they they, exactly. they seem to be trapped in their own world that sometimes you realize that they actually smile more than a modern normal mm. person so <laughs> so maybe we think that they are not normal but sometimes in their world they are the normal happy yeah. ones yeah. and why is everyone around them so caught up with daily lives and so mm-hmm. troubled by the worldly affairs, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I get it, I get it. I totally understand that. Yeah, like, like us are actually probably the ones making the world worse <laughs> and we're not, not we're, we're, we're probably the one that, that's not, not right. like I wouldn't say that we are not normal. Like, like no one is the, op- the, the best normal. Like everyone should just be themselves, but but we are actually not not making the world any better probably they 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 are actually being themselves and then like making the world somewhat in a, a better place mm-hmm. yeah but yes like this session has been amazing definitely we 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 sh- it's uh, it's great hearing from from Rian about Rachun and about like all your thoughts and yeah. like what 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 you have studied philosophical thoughts and everything yeah so it's great he- hearing from you like uh, definitely, if you if the audience want to check out Rajun, definitely we'll put the link below. And then, believe your you won't you wouldn't mind sharing your Instagram and all that as well, right? So, oh yeah, would you mind? Fine. It's fine. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, so <laughs> would you would just put it down there and then you know, yeah, oh, yeah. What's 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 your actually what's your what's your Instagram Instagram uh username? You can just like share share it out right here because sometimes like when you put it in the description below, people just like they people just get lazy. Ah uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> so Rajun is. Uh, Rachun.com R-A-C-U-N-E-D and then the .com is D-O-T-C-O-M so no symbols no, no space it's just Rachun.com yeah. yeah your personal one would you mind sharing that? yeah uh, you can find me on W-E-I underscore H-A-N Weihan yeah and then our website is on Rachun.com so it's R-A-C-U-N-E-D dot com it's Rachun.com yeah Amazing, amazing. But yeah, so um, always towards our towards the end of each session, we have this small thing called uh, we'll, where we'll share a, like, we will let everyone, if they have any insights or anything that would just genuinely like to share, you know, just share it to the audience. So yes, because since you are our, our guest today, do you, have, do you have any insights or anything that you just genuinely want to share to the audience? Like, yeah. Uh, I would say that since I mentioned so much about Camu and Sisyphus, I would say, if you are a Sisyphus right now, if you feel like you are doing something uh, repeatedly over and over again, uh, please do not feel dreaded or even like depressed, get depressed or even get suicidal because in the end, everything is absurd. You are free to choose what you want to be happy. So just break out of your own loop. 
if you are working a job that you don't like, uh, considering other job that you are always you always wanted to do. If you are a student and you are doubting what you want to study, just go for the thing that you think that you love. Don't uh yeah, <laughs> just do what you want in an absurd world, and you'll f- maybe find some sort of happiness for yourself. That, that's that's everything that I wanted to share today. <laughs> I totally agree that I totally agree that like sometimes we just get too stuck with the traditional mindset yeah. or like the societal mindset that you know right. like there is only one way of doing yeah. this you know if we do some other way you know we will die you know <laughs> we'll just die, die with that, and then die. no one yeah, like, like 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 your parents will disown you and everything <laughs> something like that. If, we are, if we are still fixated on using bows and arrows instead of guns. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. much so yeah yeah exactly like like sometimes it's just worth making a change we won't die we, we might have uh, a life that is slightly worse but that doesn't mean that we wouldn't have food on the table we wouldn't have a place to stay yes. or we we would just lose our life something like that it's just yeah. a change in life but it doesn't mean that so, we will so we won't have the, the basic yes. in, an, in an unfree world we are always as a human we have our free will we have the freedom to choose how we want to perceive things. Yeah. Exactly. 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 I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I, I mean, recently, recently, Malaysia has been a bit controversial on many, many topics and then quite restrictive on, on, I wouldn't say as restrictive as China on personal freedom, but then still slightly restrictive. I forgot. I forgot what topic was it. I mean, like, there's a few comedy clubs that get shut down. There was something else that, that, that was quite controversial, but I forgot. Because I, do you guys know this uh, quite a famous influencer called So I'm Jen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so there was... There was I, I was it Thor? I'm not sure if I don't think it's Thor the movie, but it, I think it's something. Else. But then she she just posted on Instagram saying saying that uh, I think she 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 just tagged tagged the post on Instagram and then saying that hello Singapore, um, Malaysia Malaysia is not not letting me be myself. <laughs> <laughs> something like that like, even though I have to say that you know Singapore isn't any better <laughs> but then I just I just have to emphasize that you know yes like like it's yeah. funny that you know I don't know why Malaysia have to be so restrictive like not even mm-hmm. letting us be ourselves something like that yeah. well, well, I, be- I believe Malaysia has, has been more uh, more open compared to to, to, to back then like with mm-hmm. more actually more people speaking out with, with social media like you say mm-hmm. let's say Fami Reza but, uh, you know, oh, that one, he can I freely like create create anything he like, and and then like, like <laughs> it's becoming a norm to for him mm-hmm. to do this kind of thing. Like he, he also made it a norm to to get mm-hmm. caught, to get questioned by the police as an encouragement for people to speak up on all the justice. Yeah, so I believe I believe he was actually a, here uh, in the UK. You know. He was actually here in the UK oh. for, for, for a few speech, like in London, in Manchester, but he never came to University of Nottingham. And then back then, I, <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I didn't have so much so much money to just travel to, to, to check out his talk. Otherwise, it would be a great uh, pleasure for me to just, just meet him. But, but what were you saying, Weihan? What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry for cutting out. Cut, 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 that's cutting people's right, conversation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I believe that Malaysia uh, is heading towards uh, uh, the right direction. I believe that there uh, there's more free uh, space for free uh, free speech, and it will be for uh it continue to improve. So we should all always uh hold, hold up to free speech. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, being a Malaysian, I'm 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 quite proud to be a Malaysian. But definitely, as uh, there's some unfortunate development recently, but still, I have faith in it, and then I hope that it 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 it, it has a lot of opportunity to grow. Yes, yeah. So I I, still... I just hope that he fulfill the, <laughs> the, uh, the Malaysia will fulfill uh these opportunities and then like like grow into uh, some. Yeah, democracy is a is a long process. Uh, I believe we'll get there. We'll get there soon enough. If you all just for the same idea. We spoke to mm-hmm. it. Mm. Yeah. So yes, Varine, do you have any insights or anything that you like to share, or anything that you have learned from this from 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 this session, this this amazing session? <laughs> well, I think I, I need some time to process this whole session. Yeah. Like there's so so many impressive stuff that Weihan has has shared. Um, I but. <laughs> Definitely, I mean, like, like, like. Um, first thing first is that, uh, uh, like, 
of course, we, we never have that many guests, but then, like, uh, of all the guests that we've invited, you are the one that, that like, it's most, like, uh, mainly yourself. We are not constrained to a topic. We are mm. we are focused on you for, for, for the first time. We're mm. focused on you because, like, just something is truly new, truly, truly genuine, truly, um, cr- I would say, like, creative, something like that. So it's very interesting. And then, yeah, like, even ourselves, we, like, we, we, we don't do that that much. Wait, something happened? Is something happening? Yeah, I think... I think yeah, yeah. Your audio uh, paused for... for mm. Oh, oh where, where, where did I stop? Uh, focus on Wei Han then, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. uh yeah yeah like like this this like like focus on because yeah, like previously we we just talked like like we 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 focus on a uh, topic itself you know we don't like even f- for ourselves sometimes yeah we don't we don't talk about some we don't explore something that's so new so so wild so bold mm. yeah so it's mm. it's it's amazing to to have you on on the podcast and then like listen to to your what that's, the, that's your experience why we're like, no <laughs> we want to, we want I to intoxicate. I, toxic. I think, I think, I think you should, you should bring the toxic, toxic thing. Oh, it's not that. It's, it's not that toxic. It's actually, I would say it's like it's, it's more like Fami Reza kind of style. It's like it's open. You do whatever you want. Something yeah, like that. You that, share whatever what, you want. What it's not nec- want It's, it's not exactly. Free. It's like the, yes, yes. It's just free. You know, like it's creative. You know, just do yourself. Express yourself. That's and yeah, I really love the the street poem thing. And then obviously thank, upcoming thank you, exhibitions or that talk show. Amazing. I I I I I love to see that happening. Yeah. 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 But back yeah, to Verin, yeah. I forgot what I was Verin saying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, if it's something that I'd like to share, maybe, okay, because this morning I actually went to an event and so um, it's a pre-departure briefing because I'm, I'm going to UK next month and so um, um, for the first time, I actually feel like actually the world is very warm because, you know, we actually don't even know each other and, and within that two hours, maybe you just speak to each other for a few minutes and so... From the few person that I actually talked to, um, they actually came to me and said, um, uh, they wanted to connect me on, in, like, follow me on Instagram. And so that, um, let's say when we are in the UK, I need some help or anything, then I can reach out to them. Yeah. That's so kind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely I would say that, you know, once, once, once you're in a, in a new country, like, like friends like this, which you are probably not very close to, like mm. even the housemates, like, <laughs> like, like honestly speaking, <laughs> prior to staying here, uh, like, like, like our the the, the hours which we, we have been engaging, like tr- throughout the three year of university, is probably less than twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then once 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 we are here, you know, we just became like we 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 became close family. We talk about different things. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we, yeah, we 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 rely on each other or something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like the world is actually yeah, warm yeah, you, and you, you, it's you, you, important to give the warm as well. You ne- you never realize how much common you have with your countrymen until you're in a foreign place. Mm. Doesn't matter what's your race, what's your religion. Yeah. Once you're a, you're a countryman, a few people <laughs> in, in a foreign country, you're gonna be you you realize that we have so much common. Yeah. Mm. So yes, I'm very, 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 very good sharing. But for me, actually, do I have anything to share? I guess I the, the things I've shared is kind of I I kind of just simply slot in into the <laughs> this podcast like 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 the first thing being being that the mm-hmm. success uh, opposite of success is not failure is actually stagnation. So failure is not not uh, not actually failure. <laughs> yeah, failure is part of success as well. And then the second. Uh, the second thing is probably yeah 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 the extroverted the 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 extroverted thing is like it's like so like this this just this just shows how how interesting Wei Han's uh not not interesting as like it's more like how different how how wild Wei Han, uh, Wei Han sharing is that I can bring in all these things into it which are usually um. I would say in Congress, like it's it's unusual. People normally people wouldn't talk about this, so it's it's hard right. for me to bring it, and and I can just casually just pop it in, in into a conversation, and yeah. So that's that's one of the the main thing I love about about uh, this this single conversation, and yes, it literally just matches the the, the main theme of this podcast, like in Congress yeah. thoughts, like literally all this uh, thoughts yeah. which normally people won't think of, or even people wouldn't agree on, and mm. we just share it right here. Yes. <laughs> So yes, I guess uh that will be the end of this podcast. Anyone have anyone oh, right. a- anyone have anything that they would like to share more about? 
Uh, no, I think this is this is uh this is all. Oh, okay, okay. So yes, I guess um, well then that's it for this podcast. So thank you. All the audience, do check out do check out Weihan uh and and <laughs> his uh his blog Rachun and hopefully more things comes out next time. It wouldn't be just Rachun, you know. You have your <laughs> website about your you know the 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 space that your friend is handling, and then you guys will yeah. be sharing more about like street poems and all that. I look yeah. forward to that doing. I yeah, yeah I think yeah. You know, you guys can actually work with Fami Re- uh, Reza, something like that. I think we can even possibly invite Fami Reza onto our podcast. That's something that we should attempt because uh, uh, it's our first actually uh, our first time trying Riverside.fm together with Weihan. So that's uh, the, the application that we're using to record this podcast and we aim to continue using this because now we're using a free, free edition but we aim to get a subscription where we can use it more often and and cause, cause we're paying for it, so we need to make sure that we <laughs> yeah, we use it more. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So me and Marie, we kind of say that if we do pay for this, we have to make sure that at least we invite yeah. one yeah. guest onto our podcast every single month, so that uh, it's not 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 just for maximizing value, but it's also a way to push ourselves to grow 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 the podcast. You know, make right, make it better, right. like find more more interesting conversations. So that is actually probably something that we can do in the future. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like. Uh, Yep. Uh, other than that, do of course for any anyone that's in sh- like interested um, to about Weihan's things, feel free. I think you wouldn't mind people DMing you, right? And I see uh, that you guys have. Know. Yeah, I think Rachun, there's a place to drop drop comments and all this like for for discussion as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. you can just uh, DM us if you have anything. We're open to any kind of uh, Rachun ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, collaborations open to that as well I believe uh, we're open to that uh, as long as it aligns with our values yeah okay that's cool that's cool so uh, happy to hear that but yeah for us in Talks Podcast as well feel free to you know email us you know contact us leave us a review tell us uh, how um, how we're doing any ways to improve something like that so yes I guess uh, that'll be it for this podcast then so Thanks, right. thanks Thank Weihan, you. especially Thank Weihan you. for joining the podcast and thanks Thank everyone you. for listening. So, so yes, hope to see everyone in the next episode. So, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple Podcast. If you are not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtspop. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye.